The Ethiopian Educational Media Agency presents English for Grade 7. This is Program 8. Lesson Topic, The Diving Ducks, Part 2. Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Students, how are and Uwang are here with me again? Hi, Hi friends. Students, do you remember what we learned last week? Yes, we learned about a story. But a story about what? Students, can you tell your teacher about what the story was? Teacher, please ask your students one by one what the story was about. You have about one minute. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, students. How are and Obang? Can you tell us what the story is about? Yes, the story was about the ducks. Yes, about the diving ducks. Yes, the story was about the diving ducks. Students, how many ducks were there? Tell your teacher how many ducks there were. Teacher, please ask your students how many ducks we were talking about. You are about 20 seconds. Thank you, teacher and students. Obang, how many ducks were we talking about? About six ducks. There was also the seventh little duck. Yes, seven little ducks. And there was also the mother duck. And the mother duck was teaching her children swimming. Students, what was the mother duck teaching her children? Have you said swimming, students? If you say the swimming, you are correct. The mother duck was teaching her children swimming. Students, do you want to listen to what mother duck said to the seven little ducks? All right. Listen now. Listen. Swimming is just as easy as walking for a duck. Walk into the water until you float. Then, push with your little white feet and you will go. Try it. Now. Try. One. Two. One. Two. What happened then, Leah? Please tell us the rest of the story. Okay. Then, all the little ducks tried it, but the southern the little duck did not like the water. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like the water. Students, did the southern the little duck like the water? Tell me again, students. Did the southern the little duck like the water? No, he didn't like the water. Yes. The seventh the little duck didn't like the water. So? So, he stayed outside the river. He was afraid. Yes. Students, 
Where did the sub on the little duck stay? Obank, where did the sub on the little duck stay? Outside the river. He stayed outside the river. Students, where did the sub on the little duck stay? Yes, the sub on the little duck stayed outside the river. Then what happened, Leah? Then, that night after dinner, all the little ducks were very tired. Six of them went to bed. The seven the little duck was very tired too, but he could not go to bed. Hawa, are you listening? Yes, six of the ducks went to bed. Hawa, did the seven the little duck go to bed? Yes, the... Wait, Hawa, let me ask the students. Students, did the seven the little duck go to bed? Now, Hawa, you can answer. No, he didn't. Students, did the seven the little duck go to bed? No, he didn't go to bed. Why, Leah? Because Father Duck made him stay up and practice swimming. Oh, did Father Duck watch the swimming lesson? Yes, Father Duck had watched the swimming lesson. That's why Father Duck made him stay up. Yes. Father Duck made the seven little ducks stay up and practice swimming in cold water. Did Father Duck make him practice swimming? Students, did Father Duck make the seven the duck practice swimming? Yes, he made the seven little duck practice swimming in cold water. Students, where did the seven the little duck practice swimming? Hawa? Where did he practice swimming? In the cold water. Students, where did he practice swimming? Yes, he practiced swimming in cold water. I think Father Duck was very angry at the seventh little duck. Yes, he was very angry. Students, was Father Duck angry? Yes, he was very angry. Students say, Father Duck was very angry. Students again say, Father Duck was very angry. And what did Father Duck say? Oh, listen to what Father Duck said. He said to the seven little duck, If you can't learn to swim, go and live with chickens. What did he say? If you can't learn to swim... Go and live with chickens. <laughs> with chickens? Students, what did Father Duck tell the seven the little duck? Let me ask you in another way. Students, what would happen if the seven the little duck couldn't learn to swim? Obank? What would happen if the seven the little duck couldn't learn to swim? He would go and live with chickens. Students, what would happen if the seven the little duck couldn't learn to swim? Yes, he would go and live with chickens. Students, say, he'd go and live with chickens. Students, say again. He'd go and live with chickens. Students, listen again to what Father Duck said to the seven the little duck. If you can't learn to swim, go and live with chickens. Then what happened, Leah? The seven the little duck was unhappy, but he worked hard. He worked hard. One. Two, one, two. Very good. He would learn soon. Students, did the seven the little duck work hard? Tell me again, students. Did he work hard? Yes, he worked hard. Students say, he worked hard. Students say again. He worked hard. 
Leah, please continue. Okay. The seven little duck worked hard. Every day, he went into the river with the six other ducks and practiced swimming. Oh, good. He practiced swimming in the river. Students, what did the seven little duck do in the river? Hawa, what did the seven little duck do in the river? He practiced swimming. Students, what did the seven little duck do in the river? Yes, the seven little duck practiced swimming in the river. He pulls the water with his webbed feet. One, two, one, two. Finally, what happened to the seven little duck? Finally, he learned to swim as well as the six other ducks. So, he was very happy? Sure. Students, finally what happened to the seven little duck? Obang? What happened to the seven little duck finally? He learned to swim finally. Students, what happened to the seven little duck finally? Yes, he finally learned to swim. And the six other ducks also learned to swim. So he was very happy. Students, why was the seven little duck very happy? Hawa, why was the seven little duck very happy? Because he learned to swim. Students, why was the seven little duck very happy? Yes, he was very happy because he learned to swim. What about the diving? Did they learn diving also? Oh, I will tell you the rest of the story next week. Okay, but can you tell us the story again? Yes. Students, now I am going to tell you the story again. Listen. All the little ducks tried swimming, but the seven little duck did not like the water. So he stayed outside the river. That night after dinner, all the little ducks were very tired. Six of them went to bed. The seven little duck was very tired too, but he couldn't go to bed. Father Duck, who had watched the swimming lesson, made him stay up and practice in cold water. He was very angry at the seven little duck. He said to him, If you can't learn to swim, go and live with chickens. The seven little duck was so unhappy. He worked hard. One, two, one, two. Every day, he went into the river with the six other ducks and practiced swimming. He pulled the water with his webbed feet. Finally, he learned to swim as well as the six other ducks. So he was very happy. Students, finally, what happened to the seven little duck? Obang, what happened to the seven little duck finally? He learned to swim finally. Students, what happened to the seven little duck finally? Yes, he finally learned to swim. And the six other ducks also learned to swim. So he was very happy. Students, why was the seven little duck very happy? Hawa, why was the seven little duck very happy? Because he learned to swim. Students, why was the seven little duck very happy? Yes, he was very happy because he learned to swim. What about the diving? Did they learn diving also? I will tell you this next week. Students, I will tell you the rest of the story in the next program. Teacher, after the broadcast, please ask your students some questions about the story. Now it's time for us to go. Yes, yes it's time, time to go. go. Goodbye, Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye.
That was English for Grade 7 from the Ethiopian Educational Media Agency. Join us again next week in Program 9. Till then, goodbye everyone. Goodbye.